Today we're going to be looking at another box from the folks over at Lutaku. It actually seemed like we just finished having a look at the November 2017 box when sure enough in the mail arrived the 2017 December box from Lutaku. Now the previous one that we looked at had a whole bunch of Marvel themed items. Let's see what this particular box has in store for us. Very large box once again coming to my doorstep. Let's get this opened up. I'm really excited. And actually, this one does feel heavier than the previous one that we looked at. Grabbing our knife, grabbing Hank here. Let's cut the seal not only on the bottom, but also on the sides. To unveil all the stuff that we're going to be getting in... S wow, we have a lot of big items in this month's box. Uh, where do we start? Let's grab the small one first, and we'll kind of work our way across... Uh, the first one we have is Dr. Star Mini Blocks Pirate Ship. Apparently, it's something you can build. De develop fine motor skills. Build this micro blocks with imagination. Enjoy the fulfillment of your own masterpiece. So these are these very, very small box uh, blocks, I should say. And it comes, it says instructions are included. That's good. Does it say who it's actually from? It says DIY. Maybe that's the company that is making it, or Dr. Star could be the company that's making it. This one I'm probably not going to build by the very nature of the fact that they are extremely small bricks. I struggle sometimes with normal bricks, let alone small ones. The next one we have is the One Piece Glitter and Glamour. Uh, Nico Robin Dresser, Dressrosa, Dressrosa style. And it comes to us from Crane King. One piece glitter and glamorous. There's the side of the box. Nice looking statue there. Well, let's open this one up. This one at least doesn't require, or at the very least, if it does require some assembly, I think it's the assembly I could probably handle a little bit easier than those micro bricks. And sure enough, it does require a little bit of assembly. But again, I think it's something that I can handle. This bubble wrap did fall out. I just wanted to make sure that there's no pieces inside of that. Okay. And let's take the... Okay, so it looks like it's only just two pieces. Or no, sorry, there's three pieces. I'll take the knife. And we've got the body. There we go. Don't know if it's... Oh, it does stand on its own. But it does also come with a little extra stand as well, which is not really actually listed on the box, but it does give you like a little heel support, which I guess just kind of clamps onto the back like that, just to give you some extra extra heel support. But you want to make sure you, maybe it's easier to lay, have her, well, let's see if we can try the other leg. There we go. And then the only thing we need now is the head. Take that out. We don't need the plastic wrap, so we'll put that to the side. And the head is shaped a certain way. You can see it right there. It kind of looks like a, a Tetris brick. So the head goes this way. Just want to make sure I've lined up everything here. It's a little tricky because you got to get it underneath her hair. Just apply a little bit of pressure. And there we go. There's your Nico Robin. And close up look at the figure. Nice sculpt on the statue. I mean, it's misleading because the statue feels very light, but like looking at it, you would almost think that it's a heavier piece. And I guess the statue is supposed to go like this rather than this way here. Obviously, this way you can't see your head. Putting it this way. You can see this is how the statue was supposed to be displayed. Again, some really nice sculpting on the face, equally on the hair. In fact, I really like the hair. I like how it's kind of got that, well, all the individual strands, it's almost got like a veracity to the hair. Even like the lenses, they've given a slight translucency to it. Eyes are painted nice. Very playful looking pose on her. Yeah, I like this. I quite like the statue. I'm going to put that right over there, just exactly the way as it's supposed to be displayed according to the package artwork. I guess it's kind of like 
I feel like the head needed to be turned a little bit more. That's about right. We'll just have her displayed like this. Got some other things in here as well. Got ourselves a snail. Not looking at the card just yet, I don't honestly know where the snail is from, but it looks like it might also be, I want to say one piece, but I don't think it is. It's a heavy snail, like it does, doesn't feel like it's hollow. Feels like it's, feels like it's just a solid piece of plastic. Very colorful looking snail though. Actually, the underside kind of makes it look like it's made out of Play-Doh, but it is a dense, dense plastic. I'm not really sure the name of this particular character, but again, we'll look at the card in a second. And lastly, we've got this piece here, which is from One Piece. It's also from Crane King. And let's see, we're gonna get this opened up, but I'm gonna grab the card that's in here first. There we go. And let's go ahead and get this one opened up too. Cut that. Cut this one on the side and the other side. And see if we can open it. Actually, while I'm opening it too, this one is called Banpresto One Piece Long Zakai or Zakui S or Z O U K E I. Zoke, Zoke figure, Luffy gum gum pistol, 35 centimeter uh, statue. Oh, this one's also cool too. The one piece flag diamond shipped Bo Hancock. I ended up getting the glitter and glamorous dress Rosa style Nico Robin. Well, don't worry, we'll look at that when we finish putting this one together. This one's got also some additional assembly required. I think there's a bottom part to it. I know that you're not, sorry, you're not looking at anything right now in the camera. I'll try my best to get this all out first. There we go. And we'll put the box over here. Very quickly, when looking at a Lutaku box, space runs out very fast. Okay, so we got our base, we got our figure, and of course you've got these posts. And I think there is tape just on the sides. Oh, actually there's tape at the top. Might be the easiest way to get these out. Take out one, take out the other, and the rest is cardboard, we don't need that. Okay, so we're gonna take the base. And we're gonna take the figurine. And I think what we'll do is do a close up look at the figure first, and then we'll add all the components. Now I'm also, Gonna want to just have a look at the box here, just so I can kind of match up to how everything's supposed to look. There's the little figurine. That's nice detailing on his face there. There's the back of it. So according to the instructions, and by instructions I mean the box itself, this is supposed to tab in like that. And then this is supposed to, I guess I should probably connect the other piece as well. That's gonna slide in. Do I have this right way? Yes, I do, I think so. I'm gonna say yes. This is gonna attach. And I'm guessing, oh, I guess his sandal connects up to the top here. Oops, that's metal at least. Let me just pick it up here. Let's try it again. I'm gonna attach this. I guess I should have probably attached this first and then put it in. But that's gonna attach like so. And I think there's the <laughs> that's a really that's a really interesting looking statue. Let me see if I can actually tilt it up so that you guys can see here. There is his sleeve. And connects all the way down to the bottom here. Luckily, this is metal. And then his sandal is just going to attach to the little post here. I guess this, it should have been clear so that it didn't look like an obvious metal pole, but that's a, 
it's an interesting looking there there it is right there an interesting looking statue I'll put that guy right there now let's have a look at the card that we got inside. This is the Lutaku for December 2017, entitled One Piece Part 2. Inside the contents, we got a band presto One Piece long Zakui Zake. I'm going to go with Zake, and I apologize sincerely if I mispronounce that. Uh, it's the Luffy Gum Gum Pistol 35 centimeter. We also got a Mini Blocks One Piece Pirate Ship. A One Piece Den Den Mushi, and it says Deflin Deflamingo, Doflamingo, and I got this one right here, but I guess the pricing in one isn't more rare than the other. It says receive either Trafalgar Law or Deflamingo's Den Den Mushi. Then we've got a Ban Presto Glitter and Glamorous, Glitter and Glamours, Dress Rosa style. Nico Robin at 9 inch. Or we could have also received a one piece flag diamond ship Bo Hancock, which was also a 9 inch piece. Breaking down the price points on these, the Duffy uh, Luffy Gum Gum Pistol was 26 USD. Den Den Mushi was 20 USD. Nico Bo was or Bo was 40 USD. And the mini block ship was 10 USD. Now, based on Amazon.com prices at the time of writing, the to total estimated value of the box was $96, and that's $96 uh, United States dollars. Uh, so, again, really nice collectible piece. I think, honestly, my favorite from this set is this one right here. I think I, think she, I really do like the look of her. I think she's got some really nice design elements to her, and I like the pose of her, too. Um, let me know down below what you think is your favorite, or not necessarily what you think, but what your favorite piece is from the Lutaku December 2017 box. Once again, we're having a look at Lutaku's December 2017 box entitled One Piece Part 2. If you didn't get a chance to get this box this time around, kind of, you know, kicking around a stone, oh, I should have grabbed this box. Now look at all the cool things I missed out on. Don't worry, you may have missed December's box, but January is right around the corner. If you subscribe now, you should be able still to get January's box delivered right to your door. The website, once again, is www.lutaku.com. Subscribe, and then you can get one of these boxes delivered to your house as well. Speaking of subscribing, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. It's just below this video, and you'll never miss a beat when it comes to future videos. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.